How you doing? Great coming out party Saturday. I know you would have liked to have the win, but uh, individually, good job. Appreciate that. Was a blessing. Talk about it a little bit. Uh, did you anticipate getting that many opportunities? And um, well, at first, I just know I had to pick up where DK left off, and I know that we were a little short at receiver, so I just had to do what I had to do, and we didn't get the job done. But you know, I came out with a little record thing, but it's not really going to help if you don't win. You uh, obviously look comfortable out there. Did you? Were you at least a bit nervous or anything? You look like a veteran. I wasn't really nervous. I know I had to step up. You know, um, time, at times like that, you know, people go down. Everybody has to step up. So I felt comfortable. You know, I do what I had to do. Coach What's Lyons. helped you adapt to the college game quickly, Elijah? Um, it kind of just feels like high school all over again. You know, just everybody's bigger, faster, stronger. I just felt comfortable. Pretty much it. We hear new players often talk about speed of the game and how different that is. Did you experience that? Yeah, I mean, everybody attacks the ball. Everybody follows, trails the ball. You know, you can't make too many cuts and stuff like that. So the speed is faster. Did you notice yourself freed up more with AJ and Lodge on the outside? Uh, yeah, I know those big time guys take pressure off me. So knowing them, <clears> they're going to try to take them out and hopefully it opens me up. Elijah, you were committed to Georgia for a long, long time in the recruiting process and jumped into this class late. Can, can you kind of take us back to that and what was it about Ole Miss that, that, that kind of brought you here and, and how happy are you that you made that decision? I think that was the best decision I could have made. Um, you know, being committed to Georgia was, you know, that have, it's, it's no shame to them or anything. It's just I feel like Ole Miss felt like home when I came, like my parents was in love with it. I felt like coaches, no matter what, always kept in contact. You know, it was just, just a, a good leeway both ways. So. It was just something I felt comfortable with and not a choice I had to make. And I ask you that because, you know, being in that class and looking to that Ole Miss roster, you wouldn't think that you would have had an opportunity to contribute early, but it hasn't worked out that way for you. Yeah, well, looking at guys like AJ, DK, Lodge, Braylon, all them boys, so knowing, knowing that, I know I could learn stuff from them, pick it up, and, like, use it to my tools and stuff like that. So I just learned, I, I knew that I was going to have to learn from them, and the more stuff I get to learn from them, I get to use it in my game. What are the best things they've taught you so far? Man, they taught me a lot, you know. Always attack the ball, you know, speed up your routes, stuff like that. It's a, it, it, it releases. Me yeah, releases. DK with the releases, they taught me, you know, not to make so much move, just to go use, trust your speed, stuff like that. All those guys you mentioned there and that, that we're asking you about, they're at the tail end of their time here at Ole Miss. You're at the front end of your time here at Ole Miss. What, what do you see? moving ahead in this program? Mm -hmm. Just making big plays and being a big time playmaker in the future, hopefully. You're obviously a, a different kind of receiver than those guys. They're the longer downfield type guys. How, how do you feel yourself kind of differentiating, maybe doing a different thing? Um, I just feel like I just made big time plays when the time's needed. Um, I like the pressure. and. Those, yeah, you like you said, they're big, long guys. I just feel like I'm more quicker, more agile, on, like space and stuff like that. So we have an overall team. You know, we got big, long speed. So I think that's a good combination. So do you feel like that made it easier for you to yeah. make your imprint early? Yes, sir. Coach Longo on Monday compared having you and AJ both as like two natural slot guys to win at Texas Tech. Kingsbury had both Baker Mayfield and Patrick Mahomes. How does it make you feel to kind of? Just be lumped in with all those names. You know, it's a blessing. You know, even be in that category with them boys. So, at the end of the day, I just do what I got to do. Who do you model your game after? Is there a receiver you try to play like? Um, probably A.B., Odell, Jarvis, boys like that. What is it about them? Is it the route running? Is it the it's, shiftiness? Yeah, they just know how to get open at all times. They make the big time play. They're small guys. They play like big guys, and they just know how to score. Is there anything in particular AJ's taught you, I guess, with regards to the slot? Because I know he started outside and he slid in, too. Like, is there anything in particular that stuck out? One thing he said was to be patient. And he knows that, you know, sometimes we're the last read. So he's got to be patient. When your number's called, you got to make the play. What was the hardest part about adjusting to being in Mississippi? Mm, the weather. <laughs> People. Everybody's nice over here, very genuine. I, it doesn't really remind me of home. Everybody is different, you know. This is not a lot of people outside, but I like you here, though. Thank you, buddy. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks. Thank you.